All right, millions of Americans are getting hooked on a new social media tr trend called Pinterest. You may be on it yourself, putting all your favorite pictures on and sharing them with your friends, but is it a good place for small businesses to market themselves? Well, we're going to find out right now. We've got uh, Susan joining us uh, right now to tell us. Thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. Um, you know, this is such a phenomenon for people. For a it lot is. of people who don't know, what is Pinterest? Well, you know, the easiest way to tell you is just to think about if you ever had in your bedroom a little pin board and you maybe put up your prom dress picture <laughs> that you wanted, or, or in my office I used to have a little pin board that I'd keep my like famous vacation that I wanted to take as an incentive. This is the same kind of thing, only it's virtual. And the great thing is you can share it with your friends. So they can come in and say, you know what, that dress is not going to look good on you. <laughs> so, And I, you are the CEO of itsyourbiz.com. So you right. work with a lot of small businesses. And again, a lot of businesses are always looking to use social media trends right, to right. promote themselves. Is it a good idea for them to be on You Pinterest? know, Kelsey, it really depends on the nature of your business. So just like any other marketing tool, right? If you have a business that lends itself to great visuals, photographs, videos, whatever, it can be an excellent way to market to your audience. The great thing about Pinterest is that it just is so easy to use. You can click on that image, they can go right to your sales process. So we're seeing major brands like jumping on the bandwagon here, Nordstrom's, we, even the U.S. Army has a recruiting profile on there. <laughs> so, but you know, if you're a lawyer or a CPA, maybe it's not going to work for you. Right. So what are some tips if people really want to take advantage of this particular uh, version of social media? Because like a lot of them, Twitter or Facebook. I mean, you really have to, to commit to having a profile right. and maintaining it, right? You're so right. I mean, I talk to a lot of small businesses and say, well, I put something out there on Facebook, nobody comes, you know? It's like anything else. You have to make a commitment to the time and effort of that marketing resource. The other thing you have to do if you're going to use uh, Pinterest, I, I have a hard time pronouncing it. I know. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. I know. So uh, the other thing you want to do is make sure that the images that you use are really professional looking, high quality, the way you want your brand projected. But, you know, you get them out there and then suddenly people start noticing it. All right. Well, and Susan, thanks so much for joining us. Susan Solovic from itsyourbiz.com. More about this there, I'm sure, and a lot of oh, other uh, small business yes. uh, information. Just wrote a great because, blog on it, too. So. Okay, great, because it, it is an interesting great. you know, new phenomenon. A lot of people are, uh, you know, getting onto. So uh, it's interesting for small great. businesses thanks, as well. Kelsey. Thanks so much.